Is caffeine good or bad for migraines? Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Perman. I rehabilitate concussions, migraines, and dizziness. Okay, so if you're a migraine sufferer, you've probably noticed that a lot of migraine medications include caffeine in them. So I wanted to go over today why caffeine can help migraines, but I also wanted to touch on how caffeine can perpetuate or worsen your migraines. Now to keep this short, the message is this. In the short term, caffeine can actually help migraines, but in the long term, if you use caffeine very frequently, it can actually perpetuate or make your chronic migraines worse. Now there are two things going on under the surface that are going to affect your migraines when we're using caffeine. The first comes down to what we call vasodilation. The reason why we experience migraine attacks is because we have a neurological episode that causes a spasming of the blood vessels in our head. This is what causes a lot of the pain that we feel with a migraine type headache. Well, caffeine is a vasodilator, meaning that it makes those blood vessels bigger, which is going to reduce the spasming of those blood vessels, cools them down a little bit, and can take your migraine pain down. Now the other thing that caffeine affects is your cerebrospinal fluid production or your CSF production for short. Now there's been some research done on CSF flow and migraines and what they see is that acutely when you just ingest caffeine, it actually lowers your CSF production, which might not be great for migraines. But in the long term when you're using caffeine, it increases cerebrospinal fluid production, which can actually make your migraines feel a little bit better. I am actually not a huge fan of using caffeine for migraines, and here's why. You see, caffeine is a drug, and just like any other drug, we can develop some kind of dependency on caffeine. This is why in the long term, we typically do not recommend caffeine as a preventative for migraine. Because if you become dependent on caffeine, now your brain requires that caffeine to maintain proper vasodilation and it requires that caffeine to maintain a proper amount of cerebrospinal fluid production. Which means if we stop ingesting caffeine, we're going to have rebound headaches that are much, much, much worse than they otherwise would have been. So if you're the kind of migraine patient that might get one or two or three a year, and you have a medication that works for you with caffeine in it, go for it, no worries at all. But if you are a chronic migraine patient and you are having migraines very, very, very frequently, it is not helping you to be dependent on caffeine. So in the next video that we do, we're gonna talk about how to wean ourselves off of caffeine appropriately because I know that that is not so fun, but when you know how to do it, it's really not that bad. So be sure to follow along for that next video so that you can learn a little bit about how to get off of that caffeine.